outsiders subjugating us as they are on their way. Neil deGrasse Tyson shouts out, affirming the most confounding and unfortunate disclosure made by the explorer in the previous ten years, a disclosure that researchers were not the slightest bit ready for. Since the explorer sent back this upsetting information from space, the academic community has been unable to rest, and everybody is walking under a tense climate. Analysts, researchers, and engineers have been rushed from their stations to battle these mysterious objects that the explorer recently spotted. We don't have the foggiest idea where these bizarre objects are coming from or where they are going. However, what we cannot deny is that we have seen nothing like them before. What are these baffling items that were recently found by Explorer 1? Join us today as we take apart these replies in Neil deGrasse Tyson's Explorer 1, which has identified 500 obscure objects passing by in space for nearly 50 years. Explorer 1 has been cruising through the roadways of space, investigating the deep realms that ground-based telescopes have been prohibited from seeing and revealing discoveries that leave our mouths wide open in shock, a result of virtuoso personalities that stream in overflow at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. Explorer 1 has been the brilliant courier to the unknown region of intergalactic space. This engineering masterpiece has opened our eyes to the staggering miracles that exist in our universe. In a new development, Neil deGrasse Tyson has affirmed that Explorer has identified 500 obscure objects coasting calmly in space. This news came as a shock to mainstream researchers, shaking them as everybody began poring over the data received from Explorer 1. Something unusual was brewing not too far off, and it was hard to settle this percolating puzzle that had baffled even the greatest of researchers. Since Neil deGrasse Tyson affirmed this disclosure, unique interpretations have been flying in the air trying to draw a distinctive picture that makes sense of the mystery. Assuming it had been another space apparatus that sent the sort of befuddling information that was recently sent from space, researchers might have questioned the legitimacy of the data. However, it is Explorer 1 we are discussing here, the space probe that has been cruising through the highways of space for nearly 50 years now and has surpassed our expectations. Like a patient who beat disease, Explorer 1 has exceeded researchers' extended life expectancy of three years to spend over 45 years in space revealing history-making revelations. All the while, the most charming part about this notable story is that Explorer is composing this tale of overcoming adversity from an exceptionally far distance from Earth. The last time researchers checked, they saw that the space probe was 14.5 billion miles away from our planet hurrying ceaselessly in space with no sign that it would slow down its speed at any point in the near future. Specialists say that the space probe has been traveling at a rate multiple times the distance between the Earth and the Sun each year. This is one pill that researchers have found a bit hard to swallow because normally one would have expected the space probe's speed to have declined significantly, given the longevity of its journey in space. On a closer look, it appears Explorer 1 is bound to be the exception with regards to this story and it has shown proof of this again with its most recent discoveries. It was just like every other day for researchers when Explorer 1 slammed invigorating news on their faces, one that would stick in their memories for a long time. Explorer 1 had stumbled upon some puzzling items passing by in space. This disclosure was spontaneous, which explains the initial confusion of cosmologists when they looked over data showing that around 500 obscure objects had appeared from nowhere. Briefly, we had barely any insight into the presence of these objects, and the next moment we had researchers breaking their minds in search of a solution to this puzzle that nature had landed on their laps. Researchers were in a fix, and the fault could be traced to just a single liable party, Explorer 1. Ironically, researchers also knew that the answer to unwinding this mystery additionally laid on the heavy shoulders of the space probe. At first, when news of this revelation broke out, a few researchers considered the probability that it might have been a mistake. They thought that the time of Explorer 1 might initially be finding it, and subsequently it very well might send wrong information back to us. Assuming we choose to stroll on this unfurling path, it seems like a possible explanation, given the reality that Explorer 1 was sent off as far back as 1977, nearly 50 years of active service for the benefit of mankind. One can anticipate that the space apparatus computers would have become fatigued and begun to break down, contracting in their duties and sending back low-quality data to the ground team. As appealing as this account sounds, researchers have advised that we shouldn't stop there since it would be a slap on the sacrificial soul of the explorer. 
notwithstanding the cruelty and erratic climate of space, Explorer 1 has consistently produced enlightening information about our universe. In opposition to the rushed assumptions of doubters, the space probe has maintained its long life because of its dual redundant. Computer systems. Like its twin Voyager 2, Explorer 1 came equipped with two sets of command subsystems, flight data systems, FDS, and altitude and attitude control systems, AACS. This has been the secret power behind the shuttle's solid fighting spirit with regards to navigating through space and revealing discoveries. The overt redundancy made way for consistent changes among systems and the ability to activate dormant computer parts, thereby preserving their longevity. While planning Explorer 1, the engineers back on Earth concocted a plan to assist the space probe in amplifying productivity. This meant that the probe's instruments would need to depend on engineered logic. They were taking no chances when it came to this area since they were constrained by time and power budget limitations. The electrical engineers decided the instruments would need to be developed using simplified systems that relied upon hardware logic. Consequently, Explorer's computer systems involved six onboard computers integrated as a distributed system with three dual redundancy pairs. Having beaten this obstacle, researchers needed to confront the next tall block facade in their way, which was maintaining the systems. This daunting challenge was overcome by devising a continuous power management plan. Here's where it gets a bit interesting. Power management involved supporting the operational capabilities of Voyager's computer systems. If we are being straightforward, this is a daunting task to manage, given the limited power resources available on board the space probe. It was an instance of sending a tracker into the deep wilderness to chase after wild creatures with just a handful of tools. Researchers found a way around this issue by devising measures to conserve and optimize power use on board the Explorer. A real example of these power management measures that engineers devised is the selective shutting down of non-essential systems. Specialists were forced into making this hard decision. Thus, they employed a systematic approach to identify and deactivate parts or subsystems that were not critical for the space probe's essential mission goals. We see evidence of this when we take a brief glance at heaters associated with certain instruments that had to be turned off. These heaters were initially intended to keep the instruments at specific temperatures so they would function optimally. However, the story had to be revised, as shutting them down significantly reduced power consumption on board the Explorer. This reduction in the space apparatus power usage comes with an increasing impact, an extension of the Explorer's life expectancy. This is a mutually beneficial arrangement for everyone. Besides, we ought to remember that this decision to shut down non-essential systems isn't taken lightly. It is a planned action that requires careful assessment of the compromises between power conservation and the scientific objectives of the space probe. Whenever such a decision was taken, all hands had to be on deck. Engineers and researchers needed to sit together and assess the impact of deactivating specific systems on the quality and availability of scientific data. Feelings weren't affecting everything here. It was based on the facts at hand. The team was driven by the desire to enhance power efficiency while maintaining the essential functionality of the spacecraft so it could continue to gather vital data about our universe. Undeterred, engineers and researchers alike believed that nothing should thwart Explorer's path when it came to revealing the deep mysteries locked away in the hidden realms of space. Secrets that the universe has been withholding from us for quite a long time. However, Specific power reduction isn't the only way that NASA engineers are keeping the Explorer afloat and working optimally in space. They had one more secret weapon up their sleeves, which they needed to put on the table for the benefit of the spacecraft and researchers. The engineers had to come up with power management strategies that are adapted to the ever-changing conditions of the shuttle's environment. For example, as Explorer 1 voyages farther away from the sun, the available solar energy experiences a dip. We would agree that this is an issue. However, the engineers came prepared as they compensated for this developing threat by ensuring that the spacecraft adjusted its power usage accordingly. This adaptable approach is a victory on the part of NASA engineers and researchers because it guarantees that the available power resources are efficiently allocated to support the probe's critical tasks and data transmission back to Earth. Curiously, the good news doesn't end here as there have been ongoing technical advancements and upgrades in power management that have allowed specialists to refine and improve the power systems of the spacecraft over the years. 
A close look at these improvements would reveal that they include more efficient power distribution, improved battery charging techniques, and advancements in power regulation and control. The implementation of well-thought-out and planned power management procedures has opened an exciting door for engineers. It has made it possible for specialists to extend the operational lifespan of the Explorer 1 spacecraft alongside its twin, Voyager 2. This is a major victory for the academic community and the world at large. The careful allocation and management of power resources have equipped Voyager 1 with the essential strength needed to continue exploring the depths of the universe. The discovery reverberated through the halls of scientific inquiry with seismic power. Neil deGrasse Tyson's dire decree resonated across the globe, interspersing ten years of meticulous investigation by Explorer 1 amidst the vast territory of interstellar space. The rocket had coincidentally found an oddity of significant importance. 500 baffling elements, their beginnings and reasons cloaked in vast mystery, crossing quietly through the void. This unexpected experience ignited a free-for-all of action within established researchers, where restless nights became the norm and strain hung heavily all around as analysts, engineers, and scholars scrambled to unravel the implications of Explorer's disclosure, defying a reality where the known laws of physics appeared to waver. Explorer 1, an insignia of human resourcefulness and determination, had surprised everyone, cruising long past its extended life expectancy to become a beacon of exploration in the depths of space. Its instruments, meticulously designed to endure the rigors of space travel, now sent data that challenged conventional understanding. As the rocket continued its solitary journey through strange realms, it carried with it the hopes and fears of those bound to Earth. Every data transmission, each signal received, illuminated new aspects of the universe's complexity, testing assumptions and inviting mankind to re-examine its place within the cosmos. In the aftermath of Explorer 1's disrupting disclosure, hypotheses flourished, and discussions raged within scholarly circles. Was this a chance encounter with extraterrestrial intelligence, or perhaps a glimpse into previously unnoticed phenomena of grandiose proportions? The unanswered questions fueled a tireless quest for knowledge as researchers dissected data streams and examined telemetry reports for elusive signs. Amid the uncertainty, one fact remained undeniable. Explorer 1 had forever altered our understanding of the universe, pushing the boundaries of exploration and inspiring generations to continue the mission for knowledge beyond the stars. Neil deGrasse Tyson's urgent voice reverberated through the scientific community a harbinger of disruptive news. Explorer 1 had inadvertently found a riddle in deep space. 500 obscure substances quietly floated through the immeasurable void, challenging all known configurations. Frenzy seized scientists and engineers alike, activating them into action. These strange items, dissimilar to anything experienced before, defined Explorer 1, our brave adventurer. Crossing nearly 50 years in space, it continued its journey, pushing limits and rewriting the rules of interstellar exploration as researchers wrestled with the implications. Clearly, Explorer 1's legacy as a sentinel of the universe was far from over. Its revelations continued to astonish and confuse in equal measure.